Hey folks, you're OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Steel Shield Silver Surf. This is a multimedia keyboard that retails on the company website for 40 bucks, which is relatively inexpensive. The unique selling point of the Silver Surf is that it's a fully waterproof keyboard, so in the case that you accidentally spill any water or coffee, the keyboard will still survive. In addition, you can place the entire keyboard into a dishwasher to clean it off regularly to prevent any germs from accumulating on the keys. It's going to work great for any office or personal usage if you find yourself accidentally spilling things, or or if you're always in a hurry. So this is a pretty cool product for those purposes. You can also find it directly on amazon.com. Taking a look here in the box, you have access to a manual and instruction sheet. For detailed instructions, you can find it through the company's website by scanning the QR code. It's gonna save on a bit of paper. You also have access to an accessory box, which includes an extension cable. Now, this is for you to use when you plug into your computer. It supports both Mac, PC, as well as Linux and Android. It's simply plug and play with no drivers that aren't really needed. It's a gold-plated connection that plugs on one end to the actual keyboard, the other one goes into your computer. You'll definitely need this because the length of the actual cord on the keyboard is a bit small because they had to make it waterproof. So below here, we already have the keyboard laid out for you. You can see it's a nice layout in terms of the size. It feels like a pretty fully functional keyboard with a nice palm rest on the bottom that provides a comfortable angle when you're typing along on the keys. Now it's not an island style layout, so the keys don't have as much of a tactile feedback as uh, some other models out there, but it's still relatively comfortable and easy to use. On the top is some dedicated icons and some buttons that will take you home to the search key, to the email client, to calculator, to your tunes. So you can also adjust the volume pretty easily. These keys are risen above the surface and relatively tactile and easy to press. On the top right hand corner, you have access to green LEDs which will illuminate if something like the cap lock or the number lock is turned on. You also have dedicated rows for the function keys and also a dedicated place for the D-pad here for the numbers. It's pretty comfortable and easy to use. Down below here, this is not a touch pad, it's just a piece of decoration, but we do have access to a five-way navigation array that allows you to control your music, skip tracks, stop, so it's a nice control here if you do plan on listening to music uh, on your computer a lot. Taking a look at design here, we have a specially designed Windows key that's going to bring up the home screen or the start screen on your Windows 7 and Windows 8 machines. We also have a pretty tactile and easy to use spacebar that feels evenly distributed no matter where you click on it. I've had some issues in the past with some keyboards where if you press on a certain place on the spacebar, uh, things aren't as easy to click, but on here you can see everything is quite even and easy to use. The spacing on all the keys is adequate and they have an overall pretty nice response to them, even though the keys feel slightly plasticky. Uh, with that being said, you can see that they go down pretty far in terms of the distance and it makes a little bit of sound when you're typing. So if I do a quick typing test for you guys, you can hear that that's the sound that it makes uh, when you're using it in the office or at home. So something to note. On the very back of the keyboard, you have access to two feet, which can be propped up at a more comfortable angle when you're using the keyboard. You'll also notice some holes on the very uh, very back of the keyboard that's scattered throughout the entire membrane. This allows the water to be drained out. So if I spill something on top here, the water has a place to kind of leave on the very back uh, to prevent any damage. So again, it feels pretty sturdy in construction. The keys could be a bit more rigid. They could be slightly more premium in terms of the construction. I feel like they're slightly plasticky, but overall it's relatively comfortable and easy to use without too many errors. I'm going to give you guys a quick demo of the typing experience once connected to my tablet. We're connected to my tablet and as you can see the actual length of the USB tip is pretty short. You have to cover up the silicon wing to prevent any water damage if you place it into a dishwasher and I have it then plugged into this extension cable which offers a rather secure fit and finally onto my tablet uh, and everything should be working just fine. So if I place this kind of off to the side here and do a quick just typing of uh, the test like Google you can see that everything is working in terms of response time. Everything is relatively fast. If I press the spacebar, do some uh, random testing on here, you can see uh, the response between something that I click on and something that happens on screen is relatively quick. Uh, so overall, I would say that the typing experience is pretty good, not as good as some traditional keyboards I've seen of this size. Uh, it definitely takes a bit more of a desk space, so if you're light on space, it's something to consider, not something that you would take when traveling, probably. Otherwise, though, the typing experience is relatively pleasing for a waterproof keyboard. The Silver Shield Silver Surf Multimedia Keyboard is an inexpensive sub-$40 waterproof keyboard that combines some handy shortcut keys, a relatively premium build, and an easy typing experience that I think most people will have no issues as far as getting very little errors in their typing. For more details, be sure to read our full written review. This has been our video. Thank you for watching. Here at OS Review.